Hey guys, what is up? Welcome. Today we're going to be reviewing Team of the Season so far, Diego Carlos. Now, I was lucky to pack this guy, as you guys can see, untradeable first owner. He's got three star skills and a four star weak foot. He's six foot one, medium, uh, sort of like medium attacking but high defensive work rates, which are fantastic. Amazing pace. Oh my god. Now, I've powered him up thanks to the anchor. Now, I do need to say that chemistry styles are a lot more expensive now than they were before. I don't know what's going on, but like Shadow's like 22k, like 21, 22k. Now, on the ball, his agility was fantastic. I loved his passing. That's the first thing I sort of did with him. And you know what? He's probably the most... Yeah, yeah he's definitely the fastest centre-back I've ever played with. And he's definitely the most agile and let me tell you something he was amazing let me tell you guys something his interceptions fantastic his blocking brilliant his pace absolutely fantastic oh my god like i have no i have absolute confidence that he can catch up to any forward in the game no problem he's also got the strength to hold you back the one thing i was worried about look at this he beats the goalkeeper to save that ball. Oh, brilliant. Honestly, he was so good. His, his stand tackle was remarkable. And if he couldn't get it, then he'd use his body. Now, this is crazy. I'm going to say this. Like, Check this out, boys. I've used many centre-backs and reviewed many centre-backs alongside Paolo Maldini. And Maldini usually does everything. He doesn't even let the other centre-back do anything. But this time, I was shocked to see that... Diego Carlos was backing Maldini up. It was crazy. Like, let's say Maldini didn't get the ball. Diego Carlos will go get it. And you know what? They're such a deadly duo. Absolute fantastic. Honestly, so much pleasure it was using these two. I had an absolute... I had an absolute secure defensive line. I was so confident in my defense. I wasn't worried one bit. And like one counter-attack would leave would lead to a goal which was fantastic so what are you getting with Diego Carlos is the complete center back with amazing pace great strength very very aggressive very good at intercepting the perfect work rates the perfect height what can I say about this card it's just utterly broken it's like that guy says yeah the the game is broken here sports he be uh, like this guy is really angry and he's kind of like proper angry and look at this like look at this oh my god trust me you get angry playing against Diego Carlos he's gonna get on your nerves his normal road to the final card is absolutely insane the 86 rated when this guy got team of the season I'm sure people know people know this guy is gonna be phenomenal even without a review you don't really need to see a review on Diego Carlos you just know he's good because he's an absolute brilliant brilliant center back Look at that. I can't fault him one bit. He's, he's just perfect. Honestly, I'm going to give this card a 10 because I'll tell you one thing which is crazy. I was initially... Oh, look at this. Look at the aids that are in this game. Like, the aids in this game is crazy. But then I'm sure I'm sure this guy scores an aids goal on me here as well. Look at this. Like, it deflects, goes to him and he scores. To this game, man. This game is broken, man. This game is broken, man. The center back's broken as well. But the mechanics in the game sometimes are really weird. But them kind of goals, man, in foot charms, they kill you. Because, like, it can really get on your nerves. It's it's kind of... FIFA is a test of the mind. It tests your mind. Your sanity. But anyway, Diego Carlos, highly recommended. Fantastic, fantastic center back. Initially speaking, I was worried about his stamina at 75, but I'm telling you something, this guy has no issue throughout the match. It's no problem having 75 stamina. In fact, Jerome Boateng, I think he's got around 75 as well. And he's arguably one of the best centre-backs in the game. So I didn't really have any issues with this card. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I got it for free. If there was any negatives... I can't think of any. By the way, Tots Robertson is actually broken in this game as well. He's fantastic. I can't think of any negatives because he's just he's just so, so good. And when he first came out, he was like 900k. He's going on the market now for like 650 on the Xbox. I feel like that's a very, very good price for a great, great endgame centre-back. Thank you, boys.